In this video, we're going to take a look at the new analyze and repair mesh tools that we have in Freeform 2014. And to explain that, let's take a look at the model on the screen. This is a simple scan of a bulldog model. And you can see that there's holes. If I zoom in, you can see we've got some holes in the model. Plus we have a lot of red showing. Um, the red is showing uh, reverse normals. And then we don't know if there are any problems apart from the, the holes right now and a couple of reverse polygons with this with this model. If I try to turn this into clay, let's see what happens. So just go to Mesh Utilities and copy to clay. So I'll copy it with default fill holes and I'll copy it just at the standard add detail clay coarseness. And you can see from the preview that so far everything looks okay. So let's hit apply and see what happens. And there you can see the result. Obviously this is a really poor result. So let's delete that. Go back to the, the mesh that we had. And let's try to figure out what's actually wrong with this mesh that when it converts into voxels we get that poor result. And one way to do this is to go to the Mesh Utilities, Analyze and Repair. And we can hit Analyze and Freeform will go through, take a look at this whole mesh that we have on the screen at the moment. And it reports that there are actually 21 non-manifold edges, uh, 1027 self-intersections, some highly creased edges, some small components. We had small tunnels switched off, so let's switch that on and see if we have any small tunnels. There's zero. We have some small holes. We have uh, approximately 400 small holes and we have around 12,000 spikes. So right now it's reporting uh, there's approximately 15,000 problems with this model. Now I can turn some of these analysis off and on and then hit repair. Um, I can delete selected areas. I can expand selection or I could just hit repair with everything selected and let the analyze and repair mesh tools go through and automatically repair everything. So there it has finished repairing the mesh and now when I go to the mesh utilities and copy to clay, I'll keep the defaults as we had them before. So copy to clay, fill holes, add detail and see how this process is through. And this time you can see we get a much nicer result and you can see this is pretty much what we would have been expecting to begin with. So anytime you try uh, processing one of your meshes to clay and you get a, a, a very poor result like we saw earlier, just try going and analyzing repairing that mesh and then try converting to clay and you should get a much better result.